hey guys welcome back to my channel i look like a hot mess right now but oh my gosh this is totally irrelevant to the video and you can probably hear my son in the background so if that bothers you goodbye but i just got these leggings they are like a dupe of the do you even leggings you'll see this right here and i got them for 14 dollars, and the do you even ones i think are like 60 or something yeah and they're so nice like the quality is excellent. It, is, it has the um, like contour in the correct spots. I'm super impressed by these leggings. They're fantastic. Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. Um, so if you don't know what happened, which you might or you might not, who knows, um, a channel called Hot Tea, like H-O-T, T E A hot tea potty. Um, they ha they're like a drama channel. They upload videos. They do like a lot of different like compilation videos and just commentary, whatever. Anyway, the girl purchases a shout out from Trisha. So if you don't know, you can pay five hundred dollars to get a Instagram shout out from Trisha for your channel, for your Patreon, for your Instagram, whatever you want to shout out for, and Trisha will do it for five hundred dollars. So the girl pays the five hundred dollars and right before her patreon is about to like recharge for the 500 dollars um she tells trisha like hey can i please have the shout out you haven't done it yet i'm about to get recharged let's just you know get this done so trisha's sister refunds the girl the 500 dollars and it's done so you know she's kind of disappointed that you know she didn't get her shout out but at the same time she's like you know i need the money so it worked out fine whatever well, <laughs> instead of it just being whatever, because she did make a video talking about it, Trisha starts to copyright strike some of her videos. Now, when you copyright strike a video, it is not like a claim. A claim means that the person gets to take your money from the video. Whatever you make off of it goes to them, and your channel's fine, and they just claimed your video. A strike means that video is removed. Strike means that the video is taken down, your channel gets a strike against it, and you could literally lose your channel if it happens three times. So, she copyright strikes the one video. I didn't see the video, but I was, well, I wasn't told personally, but I've read comments and I also heard Hot T say that the video was totally fair use. She was allowed to use the videos, they were just clips, and Trisha copyright striked her and took them down. <laughs> not only once, not twice but now three times. So basically she has seven days to fight Trisha to keep her channel. And I can't verify that the videos weren't just straight off of Trisha reposted and she was making money or a profit off of Trisha's work. I can't say if she did that or if she didn't, but I've heard that that's not the case. She was not stealing content from Trisha. She was reusing it fairly fair use and now Trisha is coming for her all because she exposed her for not doing the shout out you should have done the shout out I'm sorry but people should be allowed to speak against businesses like Lars boutique if you guys know who that is um, she's one of James Charles friends she has a boutique and a girl had a bad experience she talked about it or that video blew up and it was a small channel blew up and so she dealt with it she didn't try to strike her video she didn't try to take her down she sent her more products and apologized and then the girl did another video hating on her again and she left it alone that's what you do that's what you do when you have a business and i'm sorry but your patreon is a business i go so back and forth with trisha because i get her on a spiritual level sometimes i understand her insecurities and her issues and i get it and i want to be a supporter for that because I've gone through that. So I get Trisha, but at the same time, some of the stuff that she does is so annoying. I feel like every like YouTuber is going to do stuff that you don't like and then do stuff that you do like. I hate when YouTubers bring up politics. So I, this isn't me bashing Trisha, and I'm not going to use the clips from the video that she posted today, which is why I'm making this video. She posted a video today just saying that people steal her content, and that's why she copyright strikes them and that they deserve it, and that she works really hard and they don't have the right to just take the videos and upload it. And she said that there's so many videos out there that she doesn't strike or claim and that proves that she like doesn't she only does it if she has to but the only thing that this girl different than all those other people is that this girl bashed you for not doing her shout out which is such a stupid thing and if Trisha had just left it alone no one would even be talking about no one would care if she hadn't strike this girl down the more you try to silence someone the more they're going to reach out or rebel and everyone's going to know about it it's so stupid just keep your mouth shut about it 
if Trisha was upset, she could have just DM'd the girl and said, hey, listen, can you take the video down? I'll do a shout out. And what's even worse is this girl's a fan of her. She likes her. So for you to go out of your way to make this poor girl feel like crap and try to remove her channel, and she has like 70,000 subscribers, which no, isn't 5 million, but 70,000 is a ton. That That's crazy. I don't even have 7,000 subscribers. 70,000 is so many people. And so to ruin this girl's work that she's gotten however long it's taken her is just not fair it's not right and when you're a big youtuber you should expect people to fairly use your content i'm sorry but if you do something worth talking about people are going to take clips of your video and share them i'm not because i don't want to get striked and get my channel taken down i just think it's unfair i don't think it's right i think it's really lame i think that if trish is striking her her videos it's because she doesn't want anything that this girl's saying to go further but it's just making it go further i know this isn't the craziest tea or drama or anything but i wanted to talk about it because there's just so much like unfairness in youtube it's just so unfair people can copyright claim your video for whatever reason they want to they can strike your video for whatever they want to and youtube 99.9% .9 of the time is going to side with the person who issued the strike side with the person who issued the claim side with the person who has the bigger subscriber count more money it's all at the end of the day about money and sure youtube is a business and they should care about money that it's part of it and i get it i would care about money but i make youtube money too this girl with 70,000 subscribers makes money for youtube too and treating people badly is going to get everyone off this freaking website <sighs> anyway I just wanted to talk about it for that reason, so I hope you enjoyed it. It's just a really fast video. I'm sorry for any noises you heard in the background. My son is crazy. Um, he has so much to do, and he will be so quiet and calm, and then I try to make a video, and then he goes crazy. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!